What a mess, man. So I got in under the trailer. It's just solid ice. I mean, like right now, you can't even, uh, if I hooked it up, I wouldn't even be able to move it. Let's check it out. This side, solid ice. I mean, it goes down for about three or four inches. And those wood pieces are completely stuck. And then back there at the tail end, it's kind of a, a combination of ice and just soggy water. So I opened up the tarp. Um, some places didn't come out. Whoa. Uh, some places didn't come out and I just, I literally had to rip it against the ice because my thought, my thought process is that I need some airflow and I need the heat um, being able to circulate underneath in there. When the, the guard is up, it definitely seals what heat is in, in but it doesn't really allow um, for any of this stuff coming in on the backside to penetrate. So even though there's a little bit of heat collected and it looks like it's a little bit more moist down here, um, yeah, it's it, as soon as I took the tarp off, it started melting all around the edges and everywhere that sunlight can hit. So I figured it's just time to do it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pitch the tarps. I, they were not in savable fashion. Um, I literally, I was taking a camp ax and like beating out chunks of ice and rock. Um, it's pretty firmly rooted into the ground. So uh, my concerns were not completely bogus. Um, although I gotta admit, I can think my way out of just about anything and cracking me up the solutions I found the, to melt um, melt those things out of the ground. So next thing I got to get the power cord unburied and give it enough sunlight for tomorrow to melt its way out. So what do you think pup? You gonna help? He's been no help. No help whatsoever. Just running around playing, eating bushes. One more day, one or two more days at the Steamboat Springs KOA. It's been, it's been crazy man. <laughs> Shiloh just caught himself. Once we get dug out, and uh, I may hook it up to my car and just try to rock it back and forth, see if I can get it broken free before we hook it up to uh, David's truck, so. I had to come and sit by the river for one more little farewell goodbye. It's such a gorgeous day, look at this. And thank goodness, the, the warm weather couldn't have come, couldn't have come a day later, so I've been digging through that ice all day. And uh, I managed to get all four of the uh, kickstands out of the ice and back up onto a, a rock. So I should be good to go to get out. The only thing is the tires are kind of frozen in about, oh, that much of ice. But what worked really well today was um, I melted out the first two with a blowtorch and that took forever. And then it dawned on me that um, my neighbor, he took hot water <laughs> and just poured it over. So I went and got, I took my, my gray water reservoir and I went and filled it up with hot water in the laundromat and then just poured it over the the uh, jack stands and they, they melted out pretty easily. So I think I'll do that tomorrow on the wheels themselves and then probably hitch up and just pull out, um, see if I can get out of that ice and water crevasse. And then, uh, and then my buddy David will come um, on Thursday and help me uh, hitch up and actually tow it over to Denver. So, lots going on. Um, I'm a little bit nervous that I'm not going to have anywhere to drop it as soon as I get there. I've made a few calls and contacts. One of them fell through. The other is still viable as far as I can tell. Um, I have a friend that'll let me post up, but he's out of town till the 7th. And I also called the old storage unit where I used to store my place just in case I have to stick it in storage and go stay with a friend temporarily. Um, he said that they may or may not have availability and the guy was supposed to call me back and he never did. So I'm gonna touch base with him again tomorrow and uh, <laughs> worst case, we're back to stealth camping, you know what I mean? Um, I know my folks and everybody are, you know, they like just want me to get an apartment so bad, but uh, I don't know, like, I've survived this long, I'm still making it. I don't see any point in like flailing and throwing away a couple thousand bucks on a deposit in a place when I can just scrap by for a couple weeks. So yeah, let me flip this around and give you a little view of the river. So I used to work with a guy down in Arkansas, or actually Kansas, but he was from Arkansas. 
and he would always talk about Arkansas being God's country. Well, sir, I beg to differ. If there is a God, I'm pretty sure this is his country. And it's just been such a blessing sitting by this river all winter. Just the sounds of the water, I'm really gonna miss that, man. I've gotten accustomed to coming home to the calm, rushing sound of the water. And uh, it's really been my saving grace all winter. Any hard times or bad times, I just turned off all the sound and I listened to that water rush. So I'm definitely going to miss that, no doubt about it. Alright y'all, I'll hit you up in the morning. Uh, we got a full day of tearing through the camper. I'm going to do a lot of that tonight too. I'm just going to kind of sort through stuff things that I need to take to the thrift store, um, food that I haven't eaten that I need to part ways with, it's just taking up dead weight. So I'm gonna do a lot of that tonight, and then um, in the morning, we'll focus on kind of batting, down, batting everything down, you know, getting it travel ready. Uh, it's been a while since I had to move it, so every, the cabinets need some organization, and um, the bungee's gotta come back out and all that good stuff. So we will talk to you guys in the AM. Peace.